Good afternoon, hockey fans. Chris Terrell here with Rotopros.com to bring you my Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night for Wednesday, December 18th. We've got a smaller slate tonight, just three games on the ice. Uh, I still got some cash game plays at each position, some core plays I'm going to be looking at tonight to build my lineups. Uh, I'm going to be going a little bit lighter, but still playing. And if you have any questions of any of the players that I don't cover in the video, make sure to join me in the Rotor Pros community chat. And if you're not a member yet, get over to rotopros.com, get that free trial, come in, check out everything that we have to offer. With that, let's jump right into the video. So leading things off, we've got Anaheim going into New Jersey. New Jersey is a slight minus 118 home favorite here, five and a half total. We've got the Colorado Avalanche, minus 156 road favorites going into Chicago to face the Blackhawks. That's got the six total on the slate here. And then we've got the Edmonton Oilers uh, going into St. Louis to face the Blues, who are minus 169 home favorites on this slate. Anaheim is the only team playing on a back-to-back. -back. None of the teams are on a three-on-four. So we've got some data here. We're just going to jump right in. We're going to talk about goalies first. Uh, I don't normally like targeting against Edmonton, but Bennington is at home. St. Louis is a big favorite, like I talked about. Uh, the Edmonton has been struggling here a little bit as of late. They have lost four of their last five. And a lot of it has to do with the struggles of Dreisaitl and McDavid. They're two stars on the team. I've uh, been down a little bit. Still good production from them, but I'm going to be going against Edmonton tonight. I think uh, with a small slate, lots of value. I think a lot of people will have exposure to the Edmonton guys, maybe go a little bit cheaper on goalie. Um, so I'm going to go with Bennington myself and kind of fade those Edmonton guys in my cash game lineups. I'm going to be going a little bit different direction. We're going to get into here in just a second. Then for goalie, my second choice here, if you're not going with Bennington, I like the Colorado guys um, tonight. They are on the road in Chicago. Chicago has struggled a bit lately. They're near the bottom of the Western Conference standings, while Colorado is, I believe, their second to St. Louis, one or two points behind them in the standings there. So definitely, like, I think Grubauer is projected to start tonight. He came off an injury. Looked, he let in four goals in his last start. He did face 34 shots there. Um, not too concerned with that. He's 10, 6, and 2 with a big favorite. You know, you get that win equity for sure. I would prefer if Frank Kuz was in there, but he was sick. He was skating Monday, um, so there is signs that he could start. And if he does, he's been facing about 35 shots per game. He's been excellent with a 932 save percentage this season, 9, 2, and 1 record. So either either or, I do like them for value, um, but I do lean Frank Kuz if he's in there. And if he is in there, I might even consider him over Binnington at the top. We will discuss that a little bit later in the day, you know, as the starting goalie, confirmed goalies and stuff come out once line audits and stuff are done. So moving over to the center position, I don't think you can build a lineup without Nathan McKinnon tonight. I think he's the center core piece of my cash game lineup. Um, it, it's very close between him and Connor McDavid, but w McDavid's got the points, obviously. Um, he's roaring out. He's almost got 60 on the season. McKinnon's not too far behind in terms of points. Um, he's up there in ice time. Power, or power play time on ice. They're very similar in that sense as well. McKinnon's a little bit more expensive, but what you get with McKinnon is the elite shot volume um, that McDavid doesn't quite give you when he's not putting the puck in the net um, or picking up assists. McKinnon is giving you that 13.7 shots per 60 and 22.8 Corsi 4 per 60, which if anyone new to the video, that's just shot attempts. That's shots on net, shots that miss the net, and shots that are blocked. It's also up there, 12.1 scoring chances per 60 as well, so that's the core piece. And then the rest of the center position, I'm not really thrilled with tonight. So I'm just going to go down. I'm going to take the discount and go with some Anaheim players here. They are playing on a back-to-back -back like I talked about, but they're going up against New Jersey's weak defense, uh, 30th in overall defense. They no longer have Taylor Hall there. Um, they're starting Mackenzie Blackwood, who hasn't been really that great between the pipes. So that's kind of who I'm looking at tonight for cheap is Adam Henrique. Um, on Anaheim, the second line, I'm going to be using a two-man stack. We'll talk about the winger here coming up next. Henrique doesn't give you a lot of floor. He actually hasn't give you a lot of upside here either. He's only got two points in his last 10 games. He does have 26 shots um, in the last 10, seven, 10 shots over his last three games. So there's a little bit of shot volume upside um, that has come along here lately, but it's more the price thing um, so that I can fit the goalie and McKinnon in my lineups. So then moving on to wingers. Like I talked about, first of all, talk about Rackel, uh, Ricard Raquel, sorry. Um, he is skating on that second line with Adam Henrique, so that's one of my favorite two-man stacks tonight in terms of cash. Raquel gives you a nice uh, sub-6K price tag, 
and he's been uh, decent here as well lately, eight points in his last 10 games, and he's had three or more shots in four straight and five of his last six games, so that shot volume is there as well. And I just think with the price with those two, you can easily get McKinnon, and the next guy I'll talk about here is uh, Rantanen. Um, that's my other top two-man stack tonight, so that's going to be kind of my core four players um, in my cash game lineups. Rantanen has 12 points in his last 10 games, so he does give you that big upside. He doesn't give you quite the elite shot volume, and that has a lot to do with Nathan McKinnon, who takes a lot of that shot volume away. But he does have 21 shots in his last 10 games, three or more in three of his last four games. Um, so those are my top top two two-man stacks of the night. And then another winger I'll throw in here is David Perron. Um, in terms of shot volume, there isn't a lot to go around in St. Louis. I was thinking about maybe O'Reilly or Shen at center. Um, unfortunately, they're kind of in that uh, 1.5 shots per game over their last 10. Not really that high of a floor. Perron's kind of been the guy in St. Louis this season. 22 shots in his last 10 with 10 points to go along with that. Almost averaging a point per game in the season. He's got 33 and 35 games. And he's got four shots in each of his last two games. So um, he kind of gives you, he's my top guy in St. Louis that I will be targeting tonight in terms of centers and wingers. I would be pairing him with either O'Reilly or Shan. I prefer O'Reilly for cash, Shan a little bit more for GPP. So moving on to defense, I absolutely love the position tonight in terms of value. There's really no high-end guy that we're really looking at here. Uh, Clefbaum for Edmonton, but I'm kind of fading the Edmonton um, guys tonight. You could go Alex Peter Angelo, but I'm going to go down and talk about a guy I always talk about. <laughs> He's been one of my favorites this entire season, especially on FanDuel here, is Ryan Graves. He's just been excellent. He's not getting the power play time, but he's got 13 points in his last 10. I'm not expecting that offense to keep up, but it's more the floor. He's got 47 shots blocks combined over his last 10 games, which gives him a very high floor, especially at a, he should be kind of in that mid-5K range and probably will be soon on DraftKings, probably reaching that uh, 5K range in FanDuel soon as well if he keeps this up. So next I'm looking at, I'm going to head to New Jersey, look at uh, Sammy Vatnin. Um, sub 5k on both sites as well. I like, I prefer him on DraftKings. I prefer Graves on FanDuel. Um, that's kind of why I'm listing so many, just because of the price differential tonight. So for Vat, he's only got four points in his last 10. I like the matchup for New Jersey. Anaheim's on a back to back, probably starting Ryan Miller, um, well past his prime. So I can see New Jersey putting up two, three goals tonight. Um, Vatnin is playing on the top power plays on the second unit, and he's also got 52. Shots blocks, so averaging over five combined shots and blocks over his last 10 games. High floor, gives you some upside. I definitely like the price there. And then over to Anaheim, um, Hampus Lindholm here. Um, looking at him as well. A little bit more on Fandle, but I like the price on both right in that low 4K range. Six points in his last 10, and uh, what stands out is a 39 combined shots and blocks. And then for extra value, Chicago, you can go two different ways. On DraftKings, I'm probably going to go right down to uh, Ole Mata. Uh, only 3K. He's minimum price on FanDuel at 3,500. He is not going to give you any upside. He's not going to win you a GPP, but he does have 44 shots and blocks over his last 10 games. So he does give you a pretty nice floor. He's been hitting over 2X value um, on the season, which, which is kind of what we're looking for for a floor. Most nights, uh, it's going to be a little bit different just depending on, you know, the size of the slate. But definitely like uh, punting with him. And then Connor Murphy as well. I'm going to be leaning him on FanDuel. He's only $100 more. He's getting more ice time. Um, obviously, a little bit more production with that as well. And he's averaging about four shots and blocks uh, per game over his last 10. He's added five points. So just a touch more upside. Still not a whole lot, but it's a price thing. And he's only $100 more than Mata on FanDuel. Um, you could even pair both if you wanted to punt if you were trying to get McDavid and McKinnon in the lineup together tonight. And then Ian Cole is another one. Um, you know, if you're looking to punt at that defense position, four points in his last. So it's kind of a similar story as Murphy and Mott is. He's not giving you a lot of upside. He'll give you three, four points every 10 games. Um, but he's got 44 shots and blocks over his last 10. So it just gives you that high floor. So those are the defense I'm looking at. Later in the day, I will have uh, the top, my rankings at each position on the sheet. And you can get that sheet over at rotopros.com in our community chat. And I share it in, I screenshot it and share it as well. But it will be updated on the sheet as well. Thanks for checking out the video. 
like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up in the Rotor Pros community chat or on Twitter at Jaeger underscore bombs nine or at Rotor Pros. Good luck tonight.